push it. All right, we are go. Sound. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All right. First thing first, do roll call. Whoever wants to go first. Who are you? Why are you here? Hi. I'm John. Hi. I'm your friend. <laughs> we are your friends. That is a thing. Sure. We're doing this to support our friend and because Cube is pretty cool. Cube good thing to start, yeah. Cube yeah. is actually for what it is, a really good movie. It's good. It's great. Um interesting. So yeah. Uh John is has two jobs. He is my co host for this and technically like my accountability buddy. Mm-hmm. He he is here to make me feel bad whenever I don't do stuff. Oh, and I you love, pay him for that? He just I does love that constantly. Doing that shit. <laughs> no, he does that to you constantly. I, I do that to, I to. do that to everybody. <laughs> and it seems it's more to get of a hobby going. than a job, then. Really, John should have gone into managing. I don't yeah. want to talk about it. Do what you love and you never work a day in your life. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing with that is, yes, but you then have to you have to, to, you have to deal with people. Yeah. In person, people are bad. <laughs> are bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Ricky is... Yes. He's our consultant for what we're supposed to be thinking and feeling at this point. He is a collegiate graduate. He holds a bachelor's in some nonsensical pseudoscience. There you go. (laughs) And he once literally shit on a future LCS competitor so hard that when we saw him compete in the LCS... We all literally started laughing in a group call. I'm not going to say his name, but that is a thing that happened. Why are you like this? This is all very long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and now my head hurts just thinking about it. So let's see. Well, that's because you played Dota. That's why you stopped Dota. Riggy played Dota 2 with Sam one oh, time, shit, and he right. gave himself arthritis for the rest of his life. Mm-hmm. It happened in a second. I literally... I can't play anymore. <laughs> I need to go. Like, what? <laughs> oh, man, I was fucked up. And okay, so... We are here to answer very simple question. We're going to answer this question about every movie that we talk about, which is just... Should people watch it? Also, real quick, important fact. None of us, including myself, have actually watched my video talking about Cube. (laughs) (laughs) Were we supposed to do homework? No. What the hell? You said just show up. No, I just thought it was... (laughs) Usually I'll watch your videos because it's a good format. I just literally completely forgot about it. Yeah, I could have had ideas what not to go over, what to go over. I, I mean, mean go over but this is like a this is an aside. I don't think we had to worry. Yeah, this is this is a whole separate yeah, yeah. thing for someone who doesn't want to watch fucking thirty minutes of bullshit. Which which I do. I enjoy bullshit. Yeah. So it's actually it's a good I'll, way to I'll kill time at work. I fucking yeah, vanity I'll, I'll watch my own videos at work. Love the oh. sound of your own voice. <laughs> like, damn, that's <laughs> so cool. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> it's me. <laughs> So, basic rules. Ground rules. The three of us come from different, very different walks of life. We have different opinions on many things in the world. We will not discuss any of those things. At all. Ricky? What? (laughs) (laughs) This is self-contained to the movie, what we think about. We do not care how it relates to the real world. Oh, okay. If so, it, you know, I don't I don't do that. If it turns out that every single one of these actors has sexually assaulted a minor, that's unfortunate. I, but that's a horrible but, example. That's <laughs> on you. I didn't do any you, homework. You could have you could have given so, a slightly less brutal example, but Fine, fine. Here, I'll give a less brutal did example. One of these cast members do it? 
I don't know. You I don't, don't fucking we don't look. know. The, these why are... did you bring it up? Look, fact checking will ruin YouTube. All right, it's best. Yes, to just... that's why we're self-contained to this. And yeah. okay, but little boy touching us. Right? Yeah. Look. Here, here, yeah, I'll give a better example. Wait, he's a pedophile too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, 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 I'll give a better example. One of these characters is a walking metaphor for a political movement happening in the world today. Oh, we yeah. will not talk Wait, about in this. the nineties. Yeah, now. in 1997. Yeah, yeah. way ahead of his time. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Let's I mean, this is the same guy who went on to make Splice. So, oh you know, god, I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> that's, uh, that's just... But let's Damn not it. talk about let's Splice. splice. Not who not is the it. director? <laughs> We're just gonna. <laughs> Implications aside. <laughs> so, shorthand, real quick, just off the top of your head, no ratings. Just based on what you've seen, John, should people watch Cube? Yes, but there's an asterisk. And a pretty Re- like pretty decent slice asterisk, too. You want to say it now, or you want to wait till we get there? No, yeah, I'll say it now. All right. It needs to be seen with somebody else. It increases the absurdity of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> to an absurd amount, and it makes it that much more amazing. On its own, yeah, it's pretty good. It's interesting. You can, it was all right on its own, but you can people chuckle. for sure are just like, what the fuck? You need to have somebody with you to laugh as you see this thing going. Look, point look out at the these funny. people with friends who watch movies. Holy fuck. I mean, I mean, Riggy saw it together. <laughs> yeah, I watched by myself. <laughs> And you probably would have enjoyed it if you were hanging out with me and Ricky. I mean, just... Oh, speaking of absurdity, we will not talk about Cube 2, Hypercube, or Cube 0. I don't yeah, think... We won't reference ref- well. anything. Well, so. yeah. yeah. I have not seen either of those in years. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I remember parts, but yeah, we won't like, speculate like, oh, this is probably what they were going to think yeah. about this. Yeah. 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 It's not mm-hmm. a future one. Uh, Ricky, should people see Cube? In your how opinion, are, how old are the people? People are, are analytics. Ricky. People are people, Ricky. Most of my audience know, like, is like eighteen to thirty-two, which is good. The youngins. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, that's fine. Yeah. No, no, no. But I mean, like, do you think it's a good movie? Yes. <laughs> because, well, shit. I mean, I don't watch movies over and over again. Yeah, but this one I'm fine with watching. How many times I watch it with you? A couple times, John, myself. Watch. Yeah, we've well, actually watched this movie like, a lot. If I watch a movie multiple times, there's something to it. I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Actually, yeah, you're right. Like I can only really watch a movie once and not be done with it. But I think I've seen this about four or five times already. It, yeah, at least I think. And it gets better. Every single time you see it, because you don't, you forget little bits. Of it. Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Why? Yeah. yeah. I I, I don't know. I thought s- young people didn't like like old visuals, graphics. I don't know what you want to call them now. That CGI. that's what I was gonna say. Because I was gonna also say yes, but I was also gonna say you have to remember that this is from 1997. It's yeah, like if you bad. went and watched Tron. Except Tron is bad. Isn't Tron older too? Yes, but it's also bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, let actually Ricky bring up a good point. Let's let's bring up this background real quick. John watches most media pretty regularly. Yeah. 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 He, he he has a decent mm-hmm. finger on the pulse of film, television, things like that. Ricky tends to watch things that are either recommended to him or that someone offers to watch with him. You have yeah, to be, you have to be with him so he sees movies. Yeah, otherwise there he, are a lot of he doesn't yeah, have the time. He won't watch it. Yeah, like, we recently saw John Wick. Ricky, what else did we see recently? And yeah. then part three. We <laughs> 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 didn't watch any of these. <laughs> There's so many movies that I told him like we're gonna watch just because he hasn't seen them. Good, someone needs to. Real life play got us, got you, got you bad, Ricky. <laughs> the, yep. I. <laughs> I was going to the theater pretty often, and then it just like 
died. Well, yeah, but we went to the theater. Mm-hmm. And then me and Ricky actually watched mostly... When we got together, we would watch, like, B-tier horror movies. We'd go on to Netflix when it had the star ratings. And anything above three stars, we, we wouldn't watch. We would just watch the worst shit ever. And then talk about how it was the worst oh, shit God. ever. <laughs> <laughs> and I have seen more movies than anyone not being paid to watch movies should. That is just an unfortunate fact of my life. And that is why this is the collection we have. It allows different perspectives on things. Uh, I am the only person here who has ever audited multiple film classes. And Ricky and John took film appreciation. (laughs) (laughs) For fun. For fun. Yeah. My only elective I've ever had, I would with film appreciation. (laughs) So I think we could just start with you, Frank. We'll start from the first one, yeah. So just as a reference for anyone who listens to this, why can't I fucking start this? There we go. We we do have the movie playing. Um, I might have it, or I might have a different visual, depending on copyright. But we'll see what happens. And we're going to pretty much go in order. Like, we're not going to go scene by scene, but we are going to talk about the movie in order. Yeah. First thing, I love the opening shot of the eye. Like, I've never looked at someone's eye, and those things are disgusting. <laughs> Pretty jacked up, man. It's a good opener. For me, I think it it gives you, like... If you don't, if you go in not knowing what the hell this movie is... Yeah. This is already fucking you up. Yeah, you're like, you're just some guy passed out wearing a prison suit. And you're like, oh, what, what is this? <laughs> This, this is Aliens. this is the best cold open this movie can have. Like in always, sixty seconds, it describes everything this movie is about. Which isn't well. Let me see. There's a lot of movies um, that do cold opens badly. Is what else? Yeah. Say. I'm trying to think of one off the bat, but I can't. Like the first saw, maybe. What's the cold open to the first saw? Like when you just like see him in the restroom waking up. Oh yeah. Or was that a the saw open with a murder or death? No, I think I don't know. I haven't seen the and first. It shows song. you the trap. It zooms out a little bit. The guy when screams my, and then he yeah. goes to the sky. That thing happens constantly. Yeah. Well, it kind of just follows the horror movies, I guess, or these kind of tension movies. But yeah, I I thought the first scene was good and. Again, this guy kind of does seem like he's, um... He should be in some... prison. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he bald. did something. Maybe. It looks like he does drugs. <laughs> looks like a crack addict. I've yeah. seen this guy before at work. Yeah, I've sold this guy pipe cleaners before. Mm-hmm. Which... <laughs> Brillo and higher pressure gauge. It's it's amazing what people can use to <laughs> Comes back. Also, I need a lighter. <laughs> And, and the scene. Okay, okay. So skipping forward a bit, yeah. Where we'll, we'll talk about the, how he actually dies. I think it's for like that era. I think it looks really freaking brutal. The the would have looked, fucked me up. The death is I like, perfect. Like I love the death. Just takes a step, boom. And this, this is beautiful, especially because if you go to his website, like we've seen it, John, you can see them applying the makeup of the lines in his body. It, it looks I, amazing. Even I this love, is fine. Where his body falls apart, great. It's this next second. Wire man. net. Hey, this, that's cool. You know, it works. Nice. Wait. Oh, there it is. Why? <laughs> Beast Wars ass CG. Yes. They were trying to flex their muscles. I feel back in that day, everything had CG back in the day. If they could fit it, if they could fit it in, they put it in. And yeah, okay. So, beginning's good, interesting. Got me, got me interested. I thought so. 
this this is what I want to say about that though. They were trying to flex their muscle, but this was a 1997 independent Canadian film. There was no muscle to flex. Do you say it like I, that? I, I mean, Canadian <laughs> muscle. All right. I mean, I did like the I did I did like how the first set looked. Cube itself. Yeah. I love it. I love the practicality of this set because they're all the same. You only need one or two to bit film of, this entire a bit movie. Of trivia on that. I'm this movie was make. actually made with only one set. Oh, right. There's, yeah, there's a behind the scenes still. Yeah, it's literally only one cube that they used. Sounds annoying. Could, wouldn't it be easier to make two? You would think that. Again, a bit more information. This movie was not made in chronological order. Yeah. So I guess for shots like where they're in one cube looking at the other, they just have like a fake wall. Yeah, which would make sense. That's that's real smart. I fucking love Worth. Worth is my favorite character in this entire fucking movie. Coming from the screenplay, I thought it was actually really good. Oh yeah, me and John Change. read the entire first screenplay to Cube. Yeah, and it was actually fucking. You you got the feeling, the skeleton of what they were trying to get to. Yeah, like the the major difference is there's what like seven people in that one. Yeah, like but, it, it's a whole crowd, and one of them's unconscious for three quarters of the film. <laughs> which who I would think would be worth in that in that screenplay? I, I think they transformed him into worth. They instead they took being, the monologue he was supposed to do and gave it to Worth. Yeah, and he instead of him being like unconscious the entire the freaking conscious movie, guy just gonna pop back up and do work. L- literally, he's unconscious for like seventy five out of the eighty four pages. He wakes up, delivers the monologue about how he designed the cube, and then dies like Instantly the next dies. room. <laughs> so changing from oh. that to Worth. Who actually has like a pretty good impact throughout the movie? Yeah. Uh, I'd say he's my favorite character because Levin's just kind of like stereotypical nerdy college girl. Yeah. And I mean, Levin and Kazan are there to be tools. Yeah. But like the part where he says in the beginning. Why are we here? Like, what are we? Like, what do we each bring to the table? It's kind of like, well, none of them really do bring anything besides <laughs> Levin. Nobody. I mean, Red. Contractor. Red is good at stuff. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> An intro to Ren is great. Yeah. I'll give you that. I think that's great. He comes in from the ceiling, looking down. Doesn't give that... a shit. That is the one thing about. I mean, not the one thing. There's a lot about this movie that I I have problems with. What are the the Canadian prison system? No, pretty brutal. That's how he acts. <laughs> the Canadian prison system rules. If this is how they do it, oh, no. shit. he's just cool about it. Like, yeah. Ren is what seventy, mm-hmm. which is like nineteen nineteen ninety seven seventy is like two thousand and twenty ninety four. That is an old man. Holloway looks like she's in her mid to late forties. Yeah. Dude, they fucking monkey bar. Like it's nothing. Man, they were built different back in the day. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to say? The 90s. We yeah. were from the day. <laughs> and back in the day, we were built different. Now we. Yeah, jumped yeah, up with swing that. sets and houses and just kept running. Hell yeah. Also, but legitimately, rocks- something I'd never Tag. noticed before this mm-hmm. Quentin had to have survived a trap. Before this movie starts. Because he comes in and his hands covered in blood. And he is already afraid of every fucking cube. Oh, <laughs> now that you bring that up. Yeah, because whenever he <coughs> tells Levin to stop. I always thought that was like, why are you overacting? Why are you overdoing it? Like, why do you have to? T-? And then he jumps in the room with her. I'm like, why tell her to stop? Then you get in there too. Yeah. That does make sense. That that, that actually does. Yeah. Like, yeah he had to have Ollie. survived the trap. <laughs> Also, the flamethrower trap I love. Uh, <laughs> I would just see we awkward. It's, it's a good intro, but what just can, what just can we just have in this one? They want to blow their load all in 
the beginning yeah. with the wire and then something else. Have a flame you, Legit, you want to see something cool though? Go go to the website, um, Vincenzo something. It's the name of the director. Put in the description. Yeah, I'll put it in. The, I'll put it in the description. You go to his website. He has like sketches of possible oh, traps he had planned. Dude, they're real messed up. Like that guy had ideas, and it would have been <laughs> cool. You know what? Good, good, good. Another thing, Ricky. How many what? people here died to traps? Acid guy. Alderson. Oh my god. That's it? Two? Son of a bitch. Two out of the six? So, like, come on. I mean, uh, for me... The real you're gonna monster make... is mad. <laughs> uh, that's farther in, but, like... Yeah. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to see more. Like up, like starting from beginning to end. Like let them, like make them lose, make them lose, like blood splitting all over a plastic looking arm. I mean, that would've been cool. I'm gonna go slightly forward. Some battle damage. Something instead of just straight up, Renal just like just dead. Yeah. <laughs> I I appreciate um the boot trick. Like, have it's it. something, yeah. It's something that seems so obvious once you see it, but it's legitimately something I never would have thought of in that situation. I would have, honestly. I'm pretty sure this was this. This would have been just something like, oh, it's based on luck and this and that. Like, yeah. how the hell are you gonna know these numbers if? Yes. Yeah, also, that she like, Levin coming in, she noticed. Oh, look, there's something here. Okay, okay cool. Great. It becomes a thing later, but like. How are you gonna? How would anybody know that? Anybody? Yeah. Ninety I mean, mm -hmm. percent of people who watch this movie are Alderson. We we all would have just gone into a random room and then died. <laughs> 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 like, uh, what would you even assume happened to you? They all just woke up doing their job, wasn't it? Like they weren't doing anything special. And no, yeah. Um, doesn't go, it doesn't give more information on why they specifically were taken? But yeah, no, I mean, like, yeah. do you but guys yeah, remember no. what happened before? Like, oh, I was just doing this thing. Holloway was like, eating at crazy. home. Yeah, and I think the rest of them were like literally asleep or something. So what the hell would you even think? Oh, well, that's why you don't think too much about it. These people were just taken and then thrown in this cube. I'd be dead for, instantly for and God they... knows what reason. <laughs> All deserved it. And I mean, <laughs> Reynolds. To me, is the most brutal death. Is that Deep Lord, right. Danny? Something outside? What, that they all deserve? No, I just yeah. assume they're all shit people. Oh. I'll get no, into they... exactly why I think they're all shit people. Holloway's really... is easy. Holloway is... Holloway is that neighbor that everyone had in 1997 who fucking listened into all your conversations and then talked shit about you at the supermarket. If they're in the same town, she probably pissed off some of these shoes and supposed to. And I think it doesn't go in through it throughout the entire movie. It doesn't explain why they're here, right? No, no. Uh, the only one is the thing. contractor, but that's for exposition. Yeah, I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the rest as of them come are just to, like as we come up to the scene of him giving her the a button. fucking button to suck on. Who does that? I do that at work. So I, I started intermittent fasting, right? You you only eat within specific times of the day. And my times are 1 in the morning to 9 in the morning. So you suck on a, a, a button. I have a little plastic stand that is used to hold, like, things for board games. And I put it in my mouth and I chew on it. And it just generates saliva that you could keep yeah, drinking. Back in the, yeah, but, 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 like, but you have technology now. Say, yeah, say we're... And you're no, working at technology. Say, 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 say me, you, and Ricky, and some random people were in like a room. And some guy just pulled your button off and said, Here, suck on this. What are you going to do? Dude, what the hell's wrong with you? I mean, he came up with the boot trick. So I mean, he... No. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Most... He's a felon. <laughs> He's trustworthy. Also... You don't know he's a felon. Apparently, Canadian prisons have death traps also, so... I <laughs> yeah. mean, he's pretty hard. You know? I mean, he escapes... <laughs> he tells you suck a button, I might be like, yes, sir. 
Okay, so let's get more ahead after. So yeah. he dies to, in. I Wait, hold on. No, no, this is important because we we glossed over it. There's a room that he refuses to enter because the air is dry. Like, it is the stupidest what he, thing ever. What did he say was? Like, There's a sensor that... Like a, bio, a biochemical thing. Mm-hmm. I also love that he gives a whole monologue about, like, you guys suck. I'm the best, and then immediately eat shit. I literally forgot about that. That <laughs> cube was literally before him. <laughs> I like that it was just right on his face. Like there weren't several several sprinklers around like, the whole pretty, face. It was just like, hey, fuck you. I'm pretty sure this was original too. Like thinking back on the time, like now that happens all the time. Like you see it every like in every freaking movie. Like what was it Deep Blue Sea? Samuel Baseball Jackson, thing? like yeah. Samuel Jackson was like, "Oh, I've done stuff. I've done this, does not." Oh, this the death just... monologue. Yeah, yeah, that happens a lot. But I'm pretty sure back in the day, this was actually like, "Holy crap! That that's that's nuts. That's crazy." Like at, at the time, it was like, "Oh, that that was unexpected." Now it's literally become a joke of itself. Like anytime you watch a horror movie, and someone gives the whole thing of like, "You stay with me and you stay alive," they're gonna die. Like. Not a minute later, which is an over every trope, but yeah, yeah, and um, also great practical effect. I, I don't like looking I, at that. I've seen the model, like you can find pictures of the little fake upper torso with the head all melted off. It's real neat. He gets sprayed in the face for people who haven't seen this. Spoilers, by the way, as we go on, <laughs> he gets sprayed in the face <laughs> with acid, and it literally melts his face. The like thing his I liked about skull. that, it's real. The thing I liked about that scene that. What made it cool is he's still moving. Like the actor's still shaking around. Yeah. And there's smoke coming from his face. I thought that was like oh, oh crap. This guy is in a lot of pain. Oh, I love that one. Um but well, where, where did you want to go, John? Because before I went into that whole thing with Ren's death, you said you wanted to skip ahead a little bit. No, that was, that was pretty just to that point. Like yeah. up leading to that point, nothing really like crazy happened they're just like, oh this guy's this guy this guy's ran oh he's amazing like yeah. it's basically like this when quentin starts guys. going crazy starts yelling at people no this is when <sighs> quentin's pretending to be the leader oh the cop this is there you go okay yeah. did y'all did any of oh you get God, i do this and that that did yeah. any of you get like okay so he comes in first and he starts talking trying to be calm did you guys feel like he was trying to be calm or that he was being really creepy he had seen some shit already. <laughs> yeah. It, it's one of those things where it, it comes off real creepy, oh, but the damn. second he's like, I'm a cop, I was like, oh. Okay. I don't know. I've for me, even as a cop, like mm-hmm. who talks who talks like that? Well, because you have to remember, he's a nineteen ninety seven black cop, John. He he fucking what? dealt with some We're shit. We're not bringing in no, 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 but I, it's not even that. Like, in 1997, this is... This, this was, is your old rule. This was NWA time. Okay, just... Man. Whatever, cops were, cops whatever, were dealing with life. Forward. Oh, my God. Literally won the rules, and you're doing it. No, I'm not talking about that whole thing. I'm just talking about, like, this was the attitude they... Like, go watch Law & Order. This was the attitude they gave them all. It was oh, yeah, weird. yeah, that's right. It was just the way uh-huh. you portrayed them in the for 90s. Me, for me, this guy came off as creepy i i felt like okay maybe this guy did something in the force that he deserved this for yeah and then got thrown here like leading up to this like is was he like just a cricket cop that was thrown here and probably i think the implication is supposed to be that all of them did something at some point they just never went into it also we do know um, and we, we made a joke about this when we read it, John. He was supposed to be a, a criminal, like a convict. <laughs> yeah. He, he was, was supposed <laughs> to be a convict, and then they changed it to cop. Oh, shit. <laughs> it was a really weird... I didn't get that change. Like, why not just keep him a criminal and he could just... Or that could have been a twist at then. He's a, really a criminal, but he's pretending <laughs> he has cops. Yeah. Exactly. Like th- I was expecting seeing this movie, mother. Like this guy is like literally a criminal. But no, because like no, they made I mean, it still 
the same effect. They're still scared of him. It, way. It, yeah, it would have worked fine. There was no reason for the change. I think it, I I think it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've it, seen it. Just for me, the way he was acting. But as now it makes finishes, more sense. Honestly. As the movie finishes <laughs> later on, no, he's just like that. That's just him. Dude, I fuck you. I legitimately love his descent into madness throughout this whole fucking movie. Uh, yeah, I mean, knowing he was like halfway there, I like seen the second time over. Like, okay, you understand? Okay, yeah. he's un he's unstable. He he did he? What did he say? The doctor saying like, well, that's later on. The yeah. doctor makes a comment about his family and this and that. And I mean, I think yeah, he goes crazy. This yeah. is where they find out the numbers, that or they. Make I don't understand it. So she comes up with the prime number system, right? Uh huh. And that's not what they're there for. The uh, they'll bring it up later, but they're used for a completely different reason. Why does the prime number system work? It it works for so long. From what I thought, someone's watching them. Yeah. I've had this theory ahead, Canon. Someone's watching them. And they want them to make to certain places so they can see them do more. So someone's turning off sensors, I think. Because later on, they, they meet Kazan, right? Yeah. So, I mean, they want a control group. I, uh, that's my theory. Somebody's watching them. They're turning off the traps as they progress. Yes, they have prime numbers, but... Uh, Later on, we find out the reasons for these prime numbers. Also, this was the stupidest decision I've ever seen someone make. She comes up with a prime number system, and they're like, well, let's you give it a first. shot. No, no. some They're already there. Like, Worth and Holloway are already climbing in, and she's like, nope, brains before beauty. I'm going to test this. Like, why? Why would you test this? They're out of shoes. <laughs> but... Send Shut literally up, anyone in. They weren't out of shoes. I was we're, just kidding. Oh, they, had shoes. Shoes. Just, they ran out at one point. No, they, oh, they we're literally under had shoes. They didn't, still, and they, oh. they didn't do it. <laughs> it was just, oh, it's such a dumb decision. Uh, she was uh, willing to bet her life on it. And if we had ever gotten to the point, like, no. It really that, solidifies you and the characters. Like, yeah, prime number system is a thing. You know. Unless the prime numbers are the first fine. Try. But they're also in addition to the corners, but eh, that's too much thinking. I'd like to think someone's just watching them. Yeah. So I skipped forward ahead because it's just a long ass montage of them going through rooms until we fucking. What's that? Fucking Kazan. Yeah. Who is not unconscious and is in the original fucking screenplay oh, for this. He is. Yeah, he is. He is in here from the beginning. But. They don't. They not his unconscious he, body. They just loop back around. No, 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 no. No, it's Ellis, who is okay. So in the book, the unconscious guy is Ellis, but he is worth. That yeah. they just changed his name. He he in was an screen, architect. Okay. Yeah. In the screenplay, Kazan wasn't special or anything. Like he didn't have savant syndrome or no. savant. He wasn't he, a savant. There you go. Powers. Yes. Yeah. He, he was okay. just a disabled person, and. Yeah. Nothing came of it, right? Egon. He... Yeah, Egon. He didn't do anything. He didn't contribute anything. I think he actually killed somebody. He gets right? he gets someone killed. Yeah. Um, in the silent oh, room, which we're going to get to in a bit. The guy who plays the doctor, or who became the doctor at this point. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. He got him so, killed in the silent room. Yeah, in the screen page, they have a person. Drake? Drake. Yes. Vyth. Blythe. I believe it was Blythe. So one of the people other. in that fucking yeah. screen. So they, they split up Blythe into two people. They split into Holloway and Alderson. Alderson? Alderson. Alderson, yeah. I feel. So that way Holloway would keep track of Kazan here. And in the screenplay, Egon gets his doctor killed by making the sound. Yeah. Which... Kind of the same, but it gave him more depth. But he, he was... Liter Man. <laughs> so we read through the entire screenplay, which is 85 pages long. 
page 84 is missing. Oh my god. And page 84 is the climax, like the final confrontation. Oh, 83 was like, oh, don't, or something's happening, something's building up, something's gonna happen. And literally, 84 is gone. I probably, I'm gonna look for it later, but. And then 85 is just, well, he crawled to his dead body. And, the and Egon, Egon was just there by himself yelling. Yeah. And nobody heard him. Like, it still ends with Egon Kazan. Well, no. No, he, he's stuck in there. It, oh. it was a bad ending. Yeah, bad game. ending. It was a bad ending in the screenplay. Not bad quality, it's just bad end. Dead yeah, end. Like, like he's, nobody he's gets out. Mm, yeah. Bad end. Um, so, yeah. And when we read it, John asked why they didn't keep that ending. Because I actually agree with him that it's probably a better ending for this whole thing. And 90% of the time it's it's really just a studio or a test audience was like, nah, oh, that's too sad. That's We're not going to that, that happened with Deep Blue Sea as well. Yeah. People wanted retribution for what the doctor did. What that lady doctor did. So they CG'd her getting eaten. It also happened with... Um, I am legend. How the hell do you remember Deep Blue Sea? I saw it when it came out. I think. It's a bit of trivia. I just remember. Yeah. I remember. I, I'm not as brutal as Danny. <laughs> Danny remembers so much just this trivia. Yeah. But usually, I remember things that interest me enough that it doesn't like, disappear. And that was one of them. Wild. But yeah, like I am legend. I am legend is one of them. If you've ever seen the alternate oh. ending where he suicide bombs them. No, that's the actual ending. I thought the actual ending was where it's he the, got away. That's the book ending, you mean? No, no, no. Or okay, the actual, actual movie, he jumps like. through the fence with the bomb and kills himself. The alternate ending, the guy, the vampire, because they're all vampires, comes in and saves his girlfriend and leaves. That's that's right. And it's like, yeah, fucking he was the monster the whole time. No. Oh, yes, but in the book, the vampires are the dominant race. They're intelligent. They are actual people. Like, they have a community... And they are actually, like, intelligent. You, you get their thoughts, don't you? Yeah, you actually yeah. know what's going on. The Jimmy so a great book. Ended... If you get a chance, fucking read I Am Legend. Yeah. So they end up... I... Sorry, I don't want to interrupt you. This trap rules ass. That one's... Okay, he's talking about the trap where... <laughs> it, the wires wrap around Spinning him. Spinning wire it, It's a yeah. wire prison that, that descends around him and then closes up in a twist like if he had actually been caught in it it would have looked incredible <laughs> they had it in the screenplay or the concept art too they did oh, they so it sounds traps. expensive they had <laughs> so go many hands. traps dude and like messed up traps like there's one where one dude's being stabbed in the leg and the arm and a metal spike is like pulling out his entrails oh, <laughs> that would have been i don't get why they didn't do that one either Money. I and, imagine all of it was money. It also sounds expensive. But yeah, it was so, good practical effects. Go read and watch I Am Legend. Yes. <laughs> that, that, that's the... We're not going to yeah. do a video on it. I'm just going to tell you right now. Fucking watch I Am good, Legend. Good, good book. Good movie. Yeah. This uh, is where he starts his descent into madness. Like The wire trap? Yeah, Quentin gets hurt and he's like, man, fuck worth even though Worth had nothing to do with <laughs> fuck it. Fuck Worth! Oh my god. Like, you yeah, were, fuck that guy. You're right. Like, Everybody. as we, me and Ricky were watching this, <laughs> I felt so bad I for Worth. The dude. <laughs> I just want to die. Like, yeah, because later on, <laughs> they, Worth, it gets out like Worth is the reason. We're not, he's a, a cog in this. Yeah. That made the, made the whole cube. Or at least the outside. Like he, he's then, a, he's about yeah. as much a part of this as your local Subway sandwich guy is a part of Subway's mega conglomerate. Yeah. So Quentin, holy crap, just <laughs> goes in on him. At that point forward, <laughs> Worth is just knocked all over the place. But even he, pick, just now, he was eyeing him already, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. He, what did you do? He just starts for no reason. Mm-hmm. Because it's not like Worth was like, no, nah, I'm not going to go in there. You go in there. No. Quinton went in there, got fucked, and was like, man, fucking Worth, dude. 
bicycle I love this shot. <laughs> this shot worth. had to be this shot had to be done so late because the guy playing Worth looks so fucking tired. No, they did they did the red shots first. Really? Is that All why the they rooms, did it so that they could? They only had to change the lights order, yeah. once. Yep, they did it out of chronological order. Damn. All the red scenes are dialogue heavy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the scene? This is just the scene where Quentin gives him shit for no problem, or, or he's for no tired issue. of his shit now. <laughs> See, but I kind of, I kind of understand it. Not as like this is his job or anything, but in a, if we were trapped in Cube and we had made it this far, and I had been just Danny was chilling over there. Yeah, someone would have gotten fucking tilted about it. <laughs> It is it is the benefit of being a nihilist that holy fuck I cannot give a shit about well, things that matter to people. Well he only started talking shit when they talked to him first. It yeah. wasn't like you were actively or he was actively being a downer. No, it looked kinda just sad like, whatever over there. Shit happens. He laughed because Maybe that would piss me off, I don't know. This is the <laughs> only time we see someone fucking pee this entire film. It's only been a few hours. <laughs> no, no, this has been a while. They've talked about that they've already missed two meals during that montage. A few hours. I mean, how? <laughs> so that's at least twelve <laughs> hours. How many times breakfast, do you pee in second, twelve breakfast, hours? Brunch, lunch. They they breakfast. specifically say lunch and dinner. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's been a day. All right. Yeah. Uh, how many times I mean, do you pee in an hour in a day? A lot. Because I'm drinking a lot of water right now, and oh, it's it's a lot. Danny's bodily food side. Yes, okay, it's been a day. All right. But the, yeah, that's not really something like... It's like D&D, you just kind of... Assume it's happened off that. screen. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time. God damn it, Danny. You want... What was it like bringing up, like, this is the first time? <laughs> this is the only time. Oh. I love this fucking scene. I, I don't know if this guy went on to do anything, the guy that plays Worth, but... No, we man, looked it up. He's in a lot of TV shows, but oh, nothing true. really nothing really big. He should have. I love him uh, in this scene. I cool. don't. I don't. He overreacts. That's my problem with him. I, I mean, he does the part in there, but the beginning parts, I feel like he's overdoing it. Yeah. I get what you're going for. He's trying to... I'm in charge. I'm leader. No, I'm... Wait, which one are we talking about? I thought we were talking... Talk about Quinton, aren't we? Oh no, I was talking about Worth. Oh, Worth. Okay, yes, Worth. I didn't check Worth, but yes. <laughs> yeah, I, he was over. That's why I like. <laughs> I felt bad for Worth. Worth overacting, I guess. Yeah, the guy played. I'm gonna actually look up what happened to him. He was. He was a good character. You could when he gives the. Oh, so you were saying like, Quinton didn't do too much? Quinton no. did too much. I just searched Worth on IMDb. Like that's gonna fucking help me. Yeah, once he gives the when he gives the explanation, I feel actually like Phil, like legit. Hey, he does a real freaking good job. He oh, holy shit! It's David Hewlett. Oh my god, Are you serious? Yeah. Which, can you believe it's him? Yep. I, fuck, I don't tell, see tell him who else he's been in. Danny. Fucking fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him, Danny. Ah. Uh... I'm trying to think of something y'all would have seen. Um, he was in The Shape of Water. Did y'all see The Shape of Water? Hey, you saw that was one. He, was, was, he he the, was he the fish? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I know, I know. The fish. <laughs> Damn it. God damn, hold on. I'm trying to see if I can find a picture. Okay, we'll, 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 we'll continue on. I mean, yeah, we'll come back yeah, to that later. We'll, yeah. We'll, we're not gonna have them listen to you search for a freaking search for a fucking movie one. yeah yeah. Do you want to know wait, in? Wait, you're not gonna have Google cuts. It. You're not gonna edit. You're not gonna. No. This is... Oh no, this my is god! It. Doing it live. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, he, he, t- he was the guy in <laughs> Splice. Uh, the... Danny, when was the last time you saw wait, Splice? It was only when one it released guy. Released in two thousand and nine. Okay, so how often have we seen it since then? Never, I refuse to watch Splice. I think I've seen it twice. I don't remember. I, only remember I don't remember that many guys there. I just remember 
the one. Yeah. I I literally I um I mentioned this to you, John. I saw Splice in theaters, desperately regretted it, wanted to leave, but I couldn't. And then I since then that. refused to watch Splice. <laughs> He hated everybody and everyone, and nobody learned their lesson. <laughs> nobody learned anything. Everyone sucked, and everyone's horrible. You know what? We're gonna stop talking about splice. What are we? What are we... I already hear the anger. Yeah, it was, this it was coming. The rant. This scene is great. Nobody in charge. Fucking look where at that. Yeah, where he's going. Okay, so, so he's he's given an explanation of what's going on. Right, that's yeah. what's happening here. Yeah. I thought that was his theory of what's going on. No, no, no. He, he worked on man. it. He, uh, he doesn't he know how it works mechanically, right? but he knows that it's people just here for people, people to die in. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. And that's all the cube should be. The cube should be here for people to die in. Are you I'm sure? really happy that nobody ever tried to provide context or an explanation for why the cube exists. Yeah, like I mean, traveling through time and space, nothing like that. Nope, not the minds of prison for a bad employee. Mm. Not <laughs> once. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go slightly ahead, like less than a minute. Yeah, that's why I like these standalone films. <laughs> Don't need anything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, anything outside. So right now the room's red. It all works. Dialogue heavy scene. Uh, they had. They have one red. Down, I, I think know that. That's more. That's yeah. real neat. I actually want to look that up. Oh they my did God. scenes by color. I forgot how long this scene is where it's just talking. Di dialogue heavy scene. They did those first. There we go. But Here it comes. Take a moment. Bam! Body <laughs> shot. And then in <laughs> just work the body. Oh, just, what's just that pound about? Pound the liver. <laughs> no, he's just tired of worth shit. <laughs> Worth this kind of because he just des described the whole thing and then minutes minutes kept going and going and then he decided right yeah like because worth is describing the whole said, thing quentin takes a second yeah. he goes against the wall and he like mm -hmm. goes over the options in his mind is worth right is this the, what's gonna happen blah 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 and his solution was fucking i'm just gonna work the liver <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> and leading it uh, again, leading, to, leading, <laughs> leading forward, that's literally all worth is used at this point. Like at those points, just a punching bag. Yeah, made my head hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the messed up part. Like he came in here already, like head cracked open, and then for the rest of the movie, he's just gonna <laughs> eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real great thing! If you ever read the screenplay to this, the guy writing the screenplay. Did not understand any of the science <laughs> of this waiting, movie. Waiting for David to send me information on why this is happening. Yeah, tech, like it just has the star and tech, and the only explanation given for tech was, "I'll write this in when David tells me what's going on." Well, when he's describing what parts of the cube he made, or no, yeah, literally the answer to some things. Yeah, like when they figure out the prime number thing, did not know. No, no. It. It, when they figure out the primes it, at the end, didn't know it. Oh, the primes were in the screenplay. Yeah. The at the very end. They were. Oh, but they didn't really, he didn't really talk too much about no. Egon doing the thing. No, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he did. No, he did. He did. He did. Because she test, they test him mm -hmm. on the prime numbers. Yeah. But he didn't go too much into detail. But oh, okay, so he did have that in the screenplay as well. Like, even this Cartesian coordinates thing, I think it just says, they're Cartesian coordinates, parentheses, tech. <laughs> it was a weird <laughs> screenplay. It was very early. Which, we did see the dates. The dates, it's two years before the actual movie was released. Yeah, 1994. So. Yeah, 1994. Yes. I'm looking at it yeah. right now. So, it took two years for them from the first script to the final script. And then release. So, yeah. So, we didn't read the other. We didn't read the other screenplays, the variations, but yeah, I mean, we just read the first, and we saw the movie. Yeah, give some insight as to what they were trying to go for. Weird choices and what they changed. To use the characters and make him a cop. Yeah. Yeah. Except most of them did make sense, though. There... Except for the guy being a. Something that sticks out. Of... 
guy being asleep throughout half the movie. Yeah, Ellis, the Ellis being unconscious for so much. And they carry his body every Like, every time they have to do a trap room or climb it from the top, they're like, yep. And then they had to swing his body around, <laughs> being Prisoner. careful not to drop him. They would just be, like, him. swinging in the background. No, Everybody they were carrying him. One of them was yeah, carrying him. So, was like, say they had to climb it from the top of a cube. He actually yeah. described how they would have to lower him down. Someone would have to grab him from underneath then swing him over to someone on the wall who would catch him and then lower him down. Like, it, was they, good. it was a good change they did. Change yeah. him to Worth, who's actually like... He has some weight. Awake? <laughs> yeah. In addition to being awake, yeah. Oh, one thing they also included that we haven't talked about while they're doing this Cartesian coordinate bullshit. Everyone in the cube in that screenplay was in a black bag a filled sack, with liquid. Sack. Yeah. Yeah. They it, it Wait, made it look more alien from what I read. Yeah, it was a more alien looking thing. The sack was filled with fluids, and they burst out of it, and they had their clothes next to them. Yeah, I, and... it was oh, just shit. out of nowhere. That is yeah. kind of like like just the scene to throw you the off the entire thing, I guess. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they didn't go into it. They don't explain it. There's not even like a suggestion. Nobody even asks why they're in the bag. It's just like, yeah, that's. that's oh man, that's fucking weird, man. <laughs> Hey, my clothes. <laughs> the whole reason that Ellis is unconscious is because he, like, I don't know, I guess passed out in the bag, and then while he was unconscious, inhaled a bunch of water, causing brain damage. Uh-huh. <laughs> so it changes though. It changes yeah. from the to the extra one. Um, Gr- this is my favorite scene in this movie. That's not true. This is my favorite cube in this movie. Is the silent cube. Mm-hmm. Good, good idea. Uh, I didn't like how it was portrayed or the sound. I didn't like the sound. They they didn't even have them stepping or the weird audio stepping. shift. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was just yeah. dead silent. I was gonna. Have you ever seen the movie Dead Silence, the one with the puppets? That, yes. Yeah. Okay, so that movie does that because every time the puppets are you know gonna kill someone. The, the kind of thing to let you know that it's happening is that all ambient sound stops, which is really uncomfortable to listen to. If they had done it the same way as... Like any a other room? Place? A silent place, was it? Yeah. A quiet Where, place. A quiet place, yeah. Where you could feel the silence. Like, when I was in the theater and everything was quiet, you could hear yourself breathe, but you could also hear the people breathe, and it was really unsettling. Yeah. If they had done something like that, that would have been good, but they overdid it. They overdid the silence by just muting everything, basically. Is there a silence and a hum or something? No, it's just completely no, yeah. silent. Like, they just turned off the mics entirely. Yeah. Well, I, I also was... love this scene of where they talk about abandoning Kazan mm-hmm. because fucking Levin was down. She, she was I going mean... to leave him to die. <laughs> I mean, considering this... I'm back for him, man. Him. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that's right. I love that <laughs> fucking look. Quinn did it worth have exchanged a look before he goes in where he's just like, this fucker's gonna drop me on my goddamn head. <laughs> and it's a, it's and a after all that shit... <laughs> look at this. Look at it. And I haven't used monkey bars since I was a kid. Credit to the actor for being fucking physically fit enough to do this. They were built different, Danny. <laughs> 90s was a hell of a time. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have so much stuff keeping us inside. Dude, this is 97. I don't even think the internet was real at yeah, this see, point. Probably be, probably be they went to the bit. park and shit. <laughs> with their Walkmans and Boombox. So this is a very long scene, and there's really not a lot to talk about because it them quiet. I do like his. I like his intensity. I like Worth's intensity. See, he, yeah. He's a good actor. Song. <laughs> he is. He is honestly probably the best actor in this movie. Yeah. It's unfortunate that he chose to do Splice. Probably did as a favor. He was like, you remember we made Cube? It's the same director. <laughs> the guy called him and was like, remember we made Cube? That did well. Yeah. You remember? Get beaten around, your ass handed to you. Yeah, good times. 
I just have depressing. I just have an issue where the alien killed me and then sexually assaulted my wife. Like, no, nah, it'll be great. People will love it. Yeah, he gets hurt by an alien. He he. First of all, you can't that say that word. It. Can't say that word. Ah, oh, son of a. He gets assaulted by an alien. Then that murdered. Oh, have a timestamp ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then murdered. Then his wife is assaulted by the same alien who has gender swapped. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, to, oh no, he's not. Oh. He's not murdered. He's not murdered. Because his wife is assaulted. I don't know why we're talking about Splice. This movie sucks. His wife is assaulted, <laughs> becomes it so pregnant, and then sells the baby to the company that created the monster. That's yes. how that movie ends. Dude's dead. Wife sells baby. It's Splice is a bad movie. Just horrible. <laughs> this is this. How do you go the wrong way? Like, I know the answer, obviously, but, like, <laughs> holy fuck. It's a no-no. <laughs> and so th this is the big change. This is the only change to the silent room from the screenplay to this. So he gets stuck on it like this in the screenplay. And then, I don't know why I paused it. I could have just, he gets free, blah, blah, blah. That whole thing happens. The next guy comes in, who I think in the screenplay is Blythe. It's who's... the doctor. Oh, it is the doctor. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's his caretaker. The screenplay. Yeah. yeah. And then this happens. The door opens. The shit. And that sound sets off the trap killing him. Instead of this dramatic little thing here. Sick trap, the, uh... by the way. Great. Great job. Or it could just be like an, lots of little nozzles. Like, the, Can we talk about how much that would cost to maintain? Brain. I, de I fucking DC'd for a second. Alright. Talk about how much what costs to maintain. It would cost to maintain the entire cube. This key, Each cube would break to, down every month. Like, God I had to go it. in and fill the, the freaking acid. Oh, damn it. I mean, I'd go in and pick up these dead bodies. I like to think that it's like connected to a, a vat of acid. It just like tilts over and everything falls in. No, like it, it has like a hundred shots in it before someone has to has to do that. Uh. So yeah, this is this is the this is the scene. He he threatens Kazan, which was the right thing to do. This is when he gets the crazy eyes too, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. He talks yeah. mad shit to a middle-aged <laughs> woman, which, God, I wish I could do. And then he beats where it's us. No, like, no, no. Yeah, I no, was no. expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting it. <laughs> Fuck it's like, you, God damn it, woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> and then punches were... Oh, shit. There you go. So, yeah, legit, he accuses her of being a bitch, which she is. And her response mm. is, I bet you touch children. <laughs> and he no. slaps the shit I think out it of her. Was the no. kids. No, no, no. Look. Did you smack your kids around too? He. I'm going to go back a little bit. No wonder your wife left you. All that bottled up anger. Fucking, and a thing for young girls. They didn't say children. It doesn't have to be pedophile. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, living in college. Levin is in... I forgot. I, for some reason, thought Levin was in high school. Because I was oh, like... because Levin a math a, major. It's because she looks young. And then he accuses her of fucking slapping his kids. Which... Me and John saw college kids now. They're, yeah. They are young. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. 1997, it was okay to hit kids. My dad hit let's me all the time. Let's just, let's just keep going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not oh, gonna talk that. about these kind of things. Oh, they again, just threaten you and just chase you around the house, and then they never hit you. At least I don't remember any of them. But yeah, John. <laughs> the movie. Not door number one, door number two. <laughs> well, let's see what you did, John. <laughs>
could just been. I dead. love. I love. He is the best facial expressions in the entire fucking film. Just look at it. Look it at his fucking face. He yeah. does. I'm telling. Like throughout the entire movie, his face whenever, acting much better than the other people's face acting. Whenever they showed Rennes getting killed, it yeah. zooms in on Worth's face. Like, and at that point, you don't know that he knows. Yeah. But he knows exactly like what's around, what could happen. I don't know. Like he—he he is the best. It part adds of this more movie. after seeing it the first time. You get a think about it too. Yeah. Like oh, he knows this. He knows where they're going. What's happening? So, I wish you could see more of the abyss. And like, I get what, why you can't, but I want to know like. Is it okay, just so context? What he's saying? Oh yeah. In the scene that we're looking at right now, they're at the edge of the cube, and there's a huge gap between the cubes and the wall, and straight down, just black. Makes you like, make think like this place is huge. Like, cube, yeah. What, what did they say? The the math for it was thirty. What was the math for the cubes? How many there were supposed up? to be? Or like that. I don't remember, but Danny brought it up and the math that he put on the screenplay wasn't right. Yeah. That's not right. <laughs> it, it, wasn't it, right. It, it wasn't a cubed number. You couldn't make a cube with the number that he had or the dimensions that he had. <laughs> it but was... yeah, so right now he's seeing the he's talking about a huge the huge gap in the floor. And, I mean Well my thing with the abyss, the reason I want to see it is because how is it supported? The base, but there's not the base cubes don't the base the, cubes don't move. The base cubes don't move. It's like yeah. an easy one. Just, oh. you know, just think like that. The base cubes just are always there, and everything else moves. That makes a lot of sense, actually. And it, does this scene happen in the screenplay? It does, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. This this whole scene, as exactly like this, happens, but with different characters. Which scene is that, Danny? Because they you can't see what's happening. Some fucking shit. You need to, you need to explain <laughs> I know, what's going I just, on. Uh, you need to... Okay, well, so they make a, a rope out of clothes. I hate this. Wait, so, is this completely audio only too? Yes. yes. He's just going to put in shots like here and there. Yeah. But oh, like, still. But okay, like if yeah. you okay, listen to it, because a lot of people don't actually watch YouTube videos. A lot of people just listen to them. Yes, which is what I do. And the fact that you're not telling me what's going on is actually what I hate when I listen to videos. Yeah. Okay, so they make a they make a rope out of clothes, and this is the correct thing to do. You spread yourself out across the room so that you fucking distribute the weight correctly. Also, Kazan is not contributing fuck all to this. Um, but as she's climbing down, she almost reaches the other door to the other cube, and I'm just like, couldn't you just kind of do this all the way down? All the way down. Then what? Well, then at least you're at the bottom, you know. Okay. Depending on how the cube is. Oh, but then it moves. Oh yeah, yeah. So the cube shifts, oh, and they drop. The... For some reason, I thought the rope was breaking, but no, it shifts and they drop it. So okay, did you also he... like? Okay, so seeing the first time through, I didn't realize, but seeing it multiple times, starting from the minute five, you can hear the rumbling of the cubes moving. The, it's yeah. constantly making sounds, and you don't. I, don't, I didn't. I didn't think about it, and it didn't occur to me. But throughout the entire movie, they hear the sound, and that's of the cube rearranging itself. I'm gonna, which I'm is gonna pause that's here what, real well, quick because I want to talk about this jump scene. Ahead, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There, that's constantly happening, and it's it's like a great a touch. nice little yeah. It's a nice little input, and. Again, it, like, it's not like it shape. suddenly shows up and it's like, well, where was that the whole time? Like, no, it was there. It's always there. If you watch it again, you can hear it the entire time that they're going. They give the bit of context, which, again, leads me to think, again, that somebody's watching them because they don't necessarily move the cubes that they're in. Because if they saw the cubes moving while they're switching rooms, they would know. Yeah. Like, it'd be super obvious. But that way, that way, like all these other cubes around them, like the room farther away, are moving. Again, my own ca head cannon. I think this. I I think that's what was going on. 
Yeah. That actually makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Other than they just never came across one mm -hmm. while it was in the process. So this, this is my favorite scene. Fucking Quentin rescues Holloway and then legitimately fucking long live the king Mufasa's her Mufasa. ass down the tunnel. <laughs> it's the best. And it happened say, like she slipped. It, it <laughs> happens in the like, screenplay. Not, that stayed that stayed through all the revisions. Yeah. She th slipped. This scene is she in slipped. everyone. Yeah, I think he's does he say he she slipped. slipped or he didn't get she to her in time? Something really No, he slipped. She uh Yeah yeah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so this is great because so here they kind of accept it as an unfortunate fact of life. It it sucks, but it happened. <coughs> in the screenplay, he says she slipped. And immediately everyone's like, nah, that's bullshit. You killed her. You fucking did it. Killed. We saw it. He killed... <laughs> we were literally all right here. The criminal, the criminal killed somebody. Drake? Did he kill Drake? Because Ellis died. It might be Drake, yeah. yeah I, I think, think Blythe was the doctor, which, I mean, makes sense, because... Yeah, I think Blythe was the doctor, and Drake, he just threw him off and... And then it led to the epic showdown of page 84. <laughs> Which I'm sure is just the greatest action scene anyone's ever seen. Awesome action scene. So. So did you guys uh, like read this thing together? Or yeah, we, we were, were, we were up a week right before. No, no, no. This was what, like two days ago? Yeah, we were up at like three in the morning. We went through it. We were talking about like how we we're going to handle this. And we just went through it. and Because yeah, yeah, I didn't know where to talk. find them. And John was just like, yeah, it's here. You can find it on the website. And it, it's interesting. I, I like doing that for some some movies. Like, It helps to kind of give insight of what the director was trying to go through. And I brought the example up of uh, Event Horizon. Right? That was it, right? Danny? Yeah. The one I told you. The, the, the spoiler for Event Horizon, the plane went to, uh, the, the ship went, oh, pause it, Danny. Oh, yeah. Because I need to, there's something here that I want to get. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I even Ryzen, they get sent to, the ship goes to another dimension and it comes back at a sentient in hell. In yeah. that screenplay, it's so much better than the movie that they actually are making an Amazon series of Event Horizon. Hell yeah, they are. And oh, hopefully shit. it follows the screenplay of it because the idea, I think the idea is amazing. Yes. Literally, yeah. a ship becomes sentient for going to the hell dimension. That sounds fucking great. And the screenplay apparently gives more insight as to like what he really wanted to portray as opposed to what came in the movie, which is actually really, really bad. <laughs> so, yes, the screenplay is actually interesting to read if you want to give get more information on what really is happening. Okay. Yeah. So, and again, we're going to put a link to the screen, like the website with all the screenplays. Um, for this one, at least. Yeah, for, for Okay, Q. so skip back a bit, Danny. So you can... There's something that I want to show you. When they're sleeping? Go to, like, 5940, I think. All right. Yeah. 5940. Now... He says... What do you say? How the fuck Go back? You... Go, no, go back. Go back. Oh. Okay. So... Then let her sleep well. We haven't slept in how knows long. And then what do you say? One hour. <laughs> How long? Oh. <laughs> and pause it. Pause it. All right. The time. Oh, that's good. At an hour. What the hell? It. He says. So they say, "How are we supposed to know how long an hour is?" And Quentin says, an hour is as long as I say it is. And he says this at the one hour mark yeah. of the movie. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's this movie a good has, one. This movie has cool little things like that. And this, again, this most of these of, movies... Yeah, go ahead. Most of these movies that I see that I've actually been looking at have these things. And people think, oh, this is just a movie, a bad movie, a bad, like, like movies you see, Danny. Yeah. <laughs> like, but no, some of these movies are like, like the people made it, like wanted these movies to be good. 
It's just they didn't have the budget for it, so they tried to do as much as they could. And from what I saw, their best way of doing this is adding small little details that might slip the normal person who's looking at it, but... If you spend the time, then it's there. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. It's the rumbling of the cube, the look in uh, Worth's eyes as he sees people, the people die in front of him, and he knows the reason why they're there. <laughs> it's interesting. I think it's interesting. It is. It's real good. And that's kind of why I like independent films, because, you know, like, yeah, they're low budget, but they don't have, like, the time constraints or anything. They could spend years making their movie if they want to. So they yeah. can make fucking whatever they want. Independent movies. Uh, what is it, Boy? Is that the one I'm thinking Boy, of? Where they recorded yeah. the guy from Childhood to Adulthood? Like, like it's some real movies, life? Yeah. Yeah. Some of these movies are actually, like, just the directors, the people who made these stories really, really liked what they were making, and they really done it. And Quentin's I, fucking insane monologue rules. <laughs> And waiting for it. it. This is it. This is his whole monologue. Like you get so Dream Quentin destiny. kidnapped Levin while they were sleeping, and he just delivers this insane monologue. Like his eyes are wide, <laughs> and this is just creepy. It's supposed to be, but like, man, that's uncomfortable to look at. <laughs> and that's why I told you, like, I was thinking it was going to come to an end, and he was really. Like a criminal, like he was really just a psychopath who had escaped from a jail and was pretending to be a cop. He really he should was. have. I think it would have. I think it would have been a good twist. And I wish I could find out why. I wonder if he has a Twitter. I would like. Uh, he's Italian, Ask. but yeah, I would. Like, I've learned that, dude. You can DM a lot of directors and stuff questions on Twitter, and they'll actually tell you. Like, I think they just like that people are interested in their work. Oh, there it is. There's the 1997. That's all I'm going to say about that. Oh, people were built different. <laughs> they could say things. He used the term that is not allowed. Yes. yes. They also do it in the screenplay, though. Like, immediately. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the... <laughs> Just <laughs> overhead. Quinton Again. just swings the boot full overhead axe chop into Worth's face. It's fucking you amazing. The, you don't want the boot. <laughs> <laughs> and it just keeps hitting you. Okay, it. okay. Let's talk about this. Pause it, pause it. <laughs> okay, so... I, okay, so <sighs> okay, so we're at a point... You should use this, Danny. You should use this. I'm gonna use this as a thumbnail. This, this team for what we're gonna be talking about. Yeah. So they just okay. So we're looking at the scene. What we seen to be seen. But so at this point, uh, was it worth, it, Le- worth it? Because yeah, Quentin kidnaps Levin. Tries to be creepy, and then we can get out of here together. Oh no, he are right, this and that. Oh, he didn't try. Okay. He succeeded. Yeah, he was he pretty creepy. Man. Okay, so he succeeds in kidnapping her. They were, he was wooing her. They were about to escape. Um, <laughs> Kazan and Worth break in and try to stop him. Okay, so at, at one point, they were like arguing back and forth. Levin says, give me the boot. <laughs> Quentin ain't having this. <laughs> Quentin is not having this at all. So it's a teacher lesson. He raises the boot <laughs> and beats the shit out of Worth. <laughs> just, just straight up smacks him across the face. He's on the ground. He's hurting. He's they, like, okay, I'm sorry. Dude, how, I'm else sorry. Is, how else is she going to learn? All right? I'm sorry for asking. I'm sorry she asked for the boot. <laughs> but it goes up to Levin. Slowly runs her hat, his hands across her face. You don't want the boot. <laughs> you don't want the boot. <laughs> it turns and proceeds to beat the living shit. <laughs> the the, the oh, way he's so angry. <laughs> The way you described it, it reminds me of like one of my favorite Family Guy jokes where they're in prison and Peter keeps talking shit to the warden. He's like, you think you're smart, huh? You know what happens to smart guys? Show them. And one of the guards just fucking hits Cleveland in the stomach with his gun. And that's <laughs> why. Like, that's another trope. Like, I think this is another trope that we see mostly in comedies, yeah. but 
<laughs> yeah, like, oh, you're going to talk shit? Fine, I'm going to beat up this guy instead of you since I can't hit you. Yeah, because he can't hit Levin because she's actually useful. But Worth is... Yes. Worth, worth is just... Yeah. <laughs> this is why Worth is here. <laughs> <laughs> Next time that'll be you. Why wasn't it him this time? <laughs> this time fuck <laughs> man. Oh. The most impressive <laughs> oh, <laughs> Yeah, it ends with a double overhand boot double- sleeve. Yep. <laughs> oh wait, no, it doesn't. It actually I hope ends. She learned her lesson. <laughs> so they don't even check the numbers, and he just Tosses him into another cube, like through the floor hatch. That's what he talks about. He's literally getting his ass handed to him throughout the movie at, after a certain point. Yeah, like once he delivers his exposition, he just becomes the punching <laughs> bag. God, it looked like he landed on the door handle. That probably would have sucked. It did. I can't tell if he's <laughs> laughing or crying. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> if I pee myself, would you pretend it's from the rain? So, <laughs> after that savage beating, they throw Worth into a different cube where they just, they fucking find Ren's body. Which I thought was a, I thought that was a good twist. Yep, let's show the skull again. It is. This is this is a great turn because it's just... <laughs> I didn't expect Our it. Boot is I literally did not expect it. Again, it leads me to think, someone's watching it. Yeah. How could they just randomly come back to this for all this time? The that old was a lot of Renster. <laughs> like, how big was the thing? Like, this this place is supposed to be massive, massive, huge. And they went and through they at least happened, 15, right? In a montage. Yeah, they just happened to come back 10? to the one room that had him? <clears throat> yeah, it's... It is unlikely unless someone actually... Unless the director was trying to just go for the twist, but considering how much detail they've been putting in, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it was an intentional thing. I think, I don't know if he wanted to do a series, but I feel like if he had been allowed to make other ones, he probably had like a whole world he wanted to build. Oh, universe. background? True. Yeah. True. Extended universe, or what do they call it? Unfortunately, there would not be another Cube movie until 2021. I literally don't remember those movies at all. We saw those back in high school, right? I unfortunately have seen Hypercube recently. Alex loves Hypercube. What? Yeah. It is... I don't remember anything or even wanting to see it again. One of the three reasons we are not together anymore. She loves Hypercube, hates Kingdom Hearts, and is a Christian. Those are the three reasons. <laughs> Good thing Rick is. <laughs> oh. They're just kind of. S- I love that. I love the fucking Kazad just starts petting his head. <laughs> I would have. I would not have been able to do that scene because the second he started, I would have started laughing. Jesus. Fuck, Worth got wrecked in that beating. And body, the boot falls to the head. He's just staring. Everybody's like, it's pointless. It's all over, man. Symbolism. Are we... <laughs> I, f- I feel... Go ahead. If they had made the character that played Worth, Quentin, it might have been better. Yeah, but then you would have had... You would have just have switched it. The... You don't <laughs> have to switch them. Just, just switch make... Them? You don't switch them, just make Worth Quentin and just get somebody else to play. Well, Worth. yeah, because I was going to say the problem is more that Worth is smaller. So, yeah, you, like if someone mm-hmm. else were playing Quentin, like if, if Worth were not the smallest guy in the movie, yes, he would probably nail that. No, but just put, again, like make, if they could add the extra twist where he stayed as a criminal. Yeah. It would give the better idea, like, oh, this guy's a psychopath. Look how he talks, look how he looks. He's good at. Like emoting, like his face yeah. is really good at being actually intense. Yeah, he he is fucking he is real fucking good at these. 
there it is. And so Worth opens the door and is like, hey, this is the door that killed Ren. And now it leads into fucking nothing. <laughs> Which is the big oh, the big revelation of... I think you already said it, right, John? The, the, the cubes move. All of the cubes yeah. shift. Which Except is... for the ones they're in. So... Yeah. No, I don't fucking know. And it, it leads to it leads credence to John's thing that yeah, none of the cubes they're in ever shift. It's always the cubes around them. Yeah, farthest from them. Until what like point? The end, yeah. And then she fight is she wearing a retainer? No, she has saliva in her mouth. Oh, uh, <laughs> Well, because like I was looking at her teeth, and it looked like there was like that rubber band that they have in the back sometimes. But no, it was just HD, man. It's a hell of a fucking thing. Right now, I'm, I'm looking at all their mouths. God damn it! <laughs> I'm surprised it does look as good as it does too. Right? Like that means it but had to have been filmed at that point. Yeah, I, I did hear that they do that a lot. They they film it at higher, higher quality, and they just makes it easy to remaster it and it looks out really good. Yeah. I've seen a lot of older movies and they look really bad. This one is not one of them. I actually again, follow a YouTube channel that like just takes 1940s. Another um, bit of information. Okay. Sorry, sorry about that. No, no, go ahead. This was, for the most part, <coughs> recorded on a handheld camera. For real? Yeah. Holy. I'm DB trivia. Yeah. Yeah. This was recorded on a handheld camera. What it was, if it was a high cost handheld, maybe. But yeah, this that's why some of these scenes are kind of wobbly. That's fucking awesome. That that's one of the the things cuz I know a lot of people and I'm one of them who talks about like <coughs> they'd like to make a movie but they don't have like the resources for it. Your phone is now? a cinema quality camera. You're not going to make an IMAX film, sure. But you can make fucking 1080p high definition film. Buy a stand for your phone, and you can make a movie. My yeah. problem is the people. I don't know anyone. But if your issue is you don't want to buy a fucking two thousand dollar camera, you already have one. It's just buy a gimbal, a gimbal on Amazon. They're cheap. Yeah, it it, it stabilizes your camera even then. Software nowadays on the phones have stabilizers, so you don't even have to like worry about that as well. It's interesting and it's cool. And yeah, yeah, so it's you can you need to get mics the... and lights. Yeah, and mics you can buy pretty cheap on Amazon. And it's interesting. Like you just, you've seen the movie, it does look really, really good, and it's cool. These are great shots. So we're like it's hard to explain basically. what's happening because Levin's not really doing Levin's doing math, and everyone else is. They're trying to make Levin doing math seem as dramatic as possible with a lot of action shots. <laughs> yeah, like swing shots and zooms and all of that. If you stop and realize that it's just a girl doing math. It's the most epic thing in the world. Epic. epic. It, it's impressive. Uh, like talking real fast. Like, okay, so. Have enough time. What do we do? He mentioned they're talking about whether or not they can get past the traps. Um, at this point and this is something I brought up to John once Levin not Levin when Quentin yeah the silent room the silent room is the last trap we see in this entire movie <laughs> like halfway through there are no more traps in this movie because again like if if you think about it like they're like oh we're fine we found the answer that's Okay, yeah, they found the answer to get through safely. They just had to be know the specific what's the term? How to do these math things. God knows if we, anybody knows how to do math prime numbers. I, I don't. Yeah. What was the last time you did prime numbers, Ricky? The guy who High school. Screenplay does. High school. He didn't either, yeah, he didn't either. <laughs> he was gonna have that one guy. <laughs> That's why your math teacher guys tells you. I was gonna say I, I wonder if that one guy was just like a friend of his who has a degree in math. 
And if we ever get to use math <laughs> after high school, this is the point. If you ever get stuck in the cube and the only way out is prime numbers, this is the this is what you all look stupid. <laughs> this is also Pay the attention revelation. Next time. Come on. This is the revelation that Kazan is an autistic savant. He is apparently yes. capable of rain manning. Not the not prime numbers. The power of prime the numbers. Power. I don't even remember how to get the power of anything. Like I don't, even, I don't even know what the power of prime numbers is. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I honestly <laughs> don't know what a prime number is itself, and one. I know what a power is. Like if you say to the third power, how do we combine those? shit. Damn you, liberal arts degree. I feel like that's a slur, and I don't know what it means. Like telethon sure. boy is just a stupid phrase. <laughs> oh wait, I get it. It's oh, because yeah. back in the night, as I used to do telethons for. <laughs> Can you imagine how fucking strong Quentin is? That he <laughs> just threw worth through that square. <laughs> it was just like a, a clean okay. pass, too. <sighs> he okay, right so there. a prime power is a positive integer power of a single prime number. For example, 7 equals 7 to the power of 1. 9 is 3 to the power of 2. And 64 is 2 to the power of 6 are prime powers. So it's power. So it's seven times seven, which isn't that just the same as prime numbers? Yeah, like it's just a factorization of how many numbers go into just how it. You, just how you're looking at it, basically. Oh no, prime numbers is just breaking it down, like what goes into what multiplies to go into. This one is multiplying the number by itself to get this number. Oh. <laughs> so, so yeah, Damn minus it. three squared, right? Yeah. So probably these big, big numbers are like fucking exponential. Uh, we're not, yeah. we're not math majors, guys. We we don't know math. So wh You're while they're accountant. while they're dealing with this, <laughs> fucking worth he cracks Quentin's throat with a door, and it's a great shot because like his head's there, and Worth is trying to hold the door up, and it kind of looks like Quentin's neck is stronger than Worth. <laughs> He's just flexing his neck and like he's oh. built different. Oh, I I one hundred believe percent believe that because Quentin's also like entirely bleeding from everything in his body. <laughs> the makeup they put on his face, dead already. And then he gets he gets fucking pitfall, which is a real thing in Japan. Please. <laughs> fucking, fucking Worth took like three of those. <laughs> Toss it to another room. I know, Worth took that head first and he's fine. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> a picture of health. <laughs> so this is the first time they see a cube actually move. And it conveniently Man, moves into up. the space they needed to. And they're in it. Yeah. Okay. They're in it. They're going really far down. Right? Yeah. Where's Quentin? Oh, yeah. Way the hell up there. How does he get to their cube so fast without dying? Yeah, it's impressive that Quentin manages this. The Unless, guardian angel really loves drama. Unless yeah. somebody's watching him. No. And just doesn't let any chaps go off as he's going down to where they're going. Yeah, so it just it's like it was just like go find them. We're gonna turn off the because the same thing kind of happens here. So Kazan, the cube shifts while Kazan's in it, and Worth and Levin are in a different one. But he's apparently so loud that they could hear him crying from like two cubes over. But Worth goes to find him, and he's fine. I feel like at the end of this movie, they're just kind of tired of... <laughs> Worth of just like, you know what? If I fucking die, it fucking happens. Whatever. And nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, and he's he's fine. Oh, this Do they is already also... know they're at the last cube, or...? <clears throat> yeah, they yeah. know that the room that they started so in they... was going to be the last. No, no, no. So, they know they're in the last cube. Levin right now just stepped on a shard of glass that she's going to take out and realize that this is the cube they fucking started in. Glasses. All they had to do was 
stand still and eventually they would have been fine. Motherfucker. Which is funny because she she actually suggests to them at the beginning what if we just stay here? Ah. Uh, like it was I a get the... it's a bad suggestion at the time. It was just Uh you're supposed to do that when you're lost. Well yeah, because you assume someone's I searching this, for you. I think this is like a like a joke on that, like when you're lost, just stand still and you'll be found eventually and or you'll yeah. be able to get to safety eventually. I'm pretty sure that they're trying to get like that kind of like ha 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 get it guys, you just stand still, you're safe. Ah. They ride another cube. Which at this point, how the hell is Quinston ever supposed to find them? <laughs> <laughs> ever. Th this cube just happened to, you know be positioned next to the place where Quentin's cube shifted. It happened. Because Jesus Christ. Was oh no. <laughs> it's finally all catching up to them. <laughs> it always happens and you're done with the so, job. So right? the cube shifted. They're all recovering and Worth just straight coughed up blood. <laughs> <laughs> this is what, this is what peak performance <laughs> looks like. Yep. <laughs> Quentin single-handedly... Or not Quentin. Worth single-handedly carries this movie... Carrying the team. <laughs> halfway through. He really does. Worth... Because at this point, he's, he's left of what? Playoff Levin and Kazan? And yeah. Kazan doesn't do anything. Period. And Levin is... College student? Yeah. Normal? Yeah, she's just a person. The actress is fine. Like She's not a bad actress. She's just... Levin is nothing as a character. Yeah. She do math good. What happened to their jumpsuits? Did they just take them off it's, at some point? It slipped. Yeah, it slipped, dude. Danny. Come on. <laughs> Keep up. Keep up. I want to know how he got so pale. He got his ass handed to no, a lot no, of like, blood. I understand in the context of the movie. It's all his blood. <laughs> I get it as a in the context of the movie. I want to know how they got the actor that pale. They put makeup. Makeup's a hell of a drug. Or compared to his eyes or the ma eye makeup, everything else looks pale. So he looks even more pale. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Y'all know the... He looks fucked. <laughs> Y'all know the Stanley Kubrick phrase, um, every fame of painting? No. So it, it's allegedly an ideology he had about making movies. Where if you were to go through the frame, or the film frame by frame by frame, every single frame should look good. There should never be a bad frame in your movie. Uh, that's an editor's job, and I would hope so. There is not a bad frame of worth in this entire movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's always, are we done yet? <laughs> I'm tired. Am I dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> look, he's bleeding from his kidney. <laughs> like... <laughs> It got worked pretty good. Unless the first half. unless the light... So they got to the bridge room. They've opened the last door that leads outside. It's just a bright white light. Like, this is purgatory and they're going to heaven. Unless that white light leads directly to an emergency room, I don't I think Worf was going to make it. He didn't get hurt. He's not hurt. He's beat down. Dude, he's, he's been hitting the head a couple of times. Maybe yeah, he's gonna. He hasn't been like actually physically hurt at this point. He's ble He's got so much internal bleeding, John. He literally from just coughed boot. up blood. Oh, uh, from a boot. I mean, if I beat somebody down with a boot, that'll be fine. The boot, the like three nine foot falls he's taken. It was too. He got thrown around. Got hit on one of the <laughs> doorknobs too. On one exactly. of them, he took like six kidney punches. He got savagely not... beaten with a boot. He is bleeding. Oh, <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> so Worth has Worth is like, <laughs> yeah, that's brutal. Worth decides he doesn't want to go out, and <laughs> Levin tries to comfort him. <laughs> he quitted, stabs her in the back, and apparently <sighs> somehow snuck up behind both of them when he, when Worth is looking at where they were. I I <laughs> wonder. Him out of. Oh, there we go. Now he's hurt. So, yeah, now. 
he he then stabs Worth like straight in the in the intestines. Look at that! That's perfect. Beautiful framing on that. I'm gonna put and again. He's the criminal. Yeah, I'm as a really criminal, this would be long. great. Yeah, look, Kazan. I love this shot. I'm gonna put this somewhere. I love this shot. <laughs> I love how he's taken aback by the light. So he tries to chase Kazan out into the bridge. Worth catches his leg. And I think my favorite death in this entire movie, even though you don't get to see any of it. He died by cube. Yeah. Like the cube shifts and all you see is the blood smear that was Quentin's body. <laughs> Look at that. It's so much blood. That means at Kazan's feet. Because <coughs> there's a whole ass Quentin on that side. He only yeah, took like two legs. Right? There's there's a half a Quentin just <laughs> there. <coughs> but that happens. Worth accepts that his job is done. <coughs> My job here is complete. <laughs> Good job, man. And does he crawl towards Levin, or does he just lay down to die? No, he crawls by her. Yeah. Yeah, he go he goes to Levin, which I feel like I understand it, but they weren't like friends. But I guess you go through this and it's like an injury years, you know. You're automatically about look at that dude, just straight through the spine. Holy fuck. Yeah, he crawls towards and, Levin. And, and Quentin's leg. Oh, holy shit. I didn't oh there see it that. is. And Quentin's leg. <laughs> the main star of that scene. Worth decides to take a nap. They never show Kazan's feet because you can't show half of Quentin's body. And he just fucks off. Just fucks out. He, he survives. And it's a great thing that no movie ever tried to elaborate on what happens when you escape from the cube. I would have thought that he would have stayed in the cube. I would think I would have liked that ending more. Who, Kazan? Oh, yeah. He just walked back in. <laughs> Damn it. Like he's trapped there, or like he just didn't yeah, want to go? Yeah, he's trapped there. Like after that big fight, the cube moves because Zan gets stuck in there and can't leave. Like, look at that. We basically just watched Cube again. This is my seventh time in like two weeks watching Cube. And the movie still fucking rules. <laughs> this was supposed to be a summary, not a commentary, and it became a commentary. We, we did both. God damn it. How long was this? And trivia. And People trivia. love trivia. This People is, do love trivia. Did you know? Holy shit! This was an hour. The and characters 40 that were named after famous prisons. Wait, really? Not famous prisons, but all prisons. Yeah, yeah. Vincenzo so Natale. That's his name. The IMDb. Okay. All right. All the way. So Kazan is a Russian prison for the mentally ill. Mm -hmm. Rennes is Makes a sense. French jail that pioneered many of today's prison policies. So that's why he knows how to escape them. Quentin, the detective, is known for its brutality. Hell yeah. Holloway was a women's prison in England. Hmm. So, a doctor. Yeah. And Alderson is a prison where I, where isolation is a common punishment. Which is why he Alderson. was alone in... The very first one, yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck. Levin's, Levinworth runs on a rigid set of rulers. Rigid set of rules, sorry. Rules. Ah. Which... Eh, I mean, kind of. That's not it. Eh, eh, that's a reach. But what that's that is pretty rich. What was what? That's your name. Who's the other one? And the new prison is completely owned and built. And the new prison is completely owned and built. Worth hired as architect. What? That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Worth. No, that one's. It's probably just written badly. Yeah. A little bit of information, but yeah, all named after prisons. So which is cool. John's actually right. This this has been longer than the actual film. <laughs> what? Did you skipped a good amount of it, though. Didn't you? Yeah, no. the movie is an hour and thirty minutes. We are an hour and forty right now. Hey, uh, so we're at the end of the podcast. That's about as long as people. We're as nearing. I watch. Yeah. 
The film was shot in 20 days. Uh, Holy. God Christ. damn. How much are movies worth back then? Like, how much was a hit? How much was. Let's see. Let's actually look that up. Yeah, it, it, it says. I think how much are movies made? And how much I think if you just look up the Wikipedia, made. it has its cost in. Oh, I shouldn't have Wikipedia cute. There it is, 1997. So. Budget 350000 It made $9 million. Holy, Holy yeah, shit. Good money. It made good money. And in 1997, that's fucking nuts. So yes, it was a good movie. Yeah, honestly. It but, was. <laughs> so I, I went to the trivia thing. It says that there was a scene outside of the cube that was supposed to be like the very end. The very first thing he cut, he was like, no, 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 no. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I don't know what's canon in that one. Do you guys read in the script or the screenplay? Screenplay, like no. The outside looked like no, because nobody no. nobody escapes in the original screenplay. Oh yeah, yeah. they all die unless something happens in page eighty four that ah. we haven't seen. Then we may never know. This, this this actually really perfectly supports everything that we said, though, and I'm glad that we we prefaced this with it the movie's worth watching yeah it's it's a good movie it is a movie made even better with other people because it is interesting yeah it is it is it makes it funnier yeah. and it gives you like more stuff to talk about There's as you're seeing so it. much shit to go through every scene because this is like the seventh time i've watched this in two or three weeks and this is the first time that I've ever just like fucking laughed about a bunch of stuff. See, it gets absurd. <laughs> that was the first time I realized he was just chucking people. <laughs> God damn it, Quinn. That was so... <sighs> He's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Lifting her up at the end, too. Shit. How did Worth hold on to him? Out of the seven, only two were killed by traps. Yeah. Yeah, like Ricky Ricky said it as a joke, but he's kind of right. Once the quiet room happens and Quentin goes insane, this really just becomes a man with a real monster situation. Yeah. And they're right. Oh, so... You you brought it up, John, and I was I was gonna ask about it, but then fucking people died really fast. Um, while they're talking, like while Kevin and Kevin, while Levin and Worth are talking, you can apparently hear the door open right before what a little bit of information. Yeah, Levin gets stabbed. Yeah, Atitos. That would even make it more hilarious. <laughs> Shit. I so, this is pretty... This is... I don't even know if I want to say this is pretty much what the plan is going forward. Because it wasn't supposed to be. This wasn't supposed Probably to be not, like a watch-along. This is too long. This is too long. This was supposed to be like an hour max. Well, this was our introduction. We we'll, we'll figure it out. Other. We'll trim it down. The style develops as it moves along. Yeah. Indeed. We won't do this again, but keeps one of our favorite movies. I didn't know we were supposed to do homework, homework so I'll do some of that. Maybe. Maybe. You what do we... What are we doing next? Uh, clue. 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 Holy shit! We're yeah, clue, we're gonna yes. do clue, which is also completely free on YouTube. Very, very excited to talk about that movie because Clue's one of my favorite games, and Clue, clue oh, man, fuck the me. movie is one of my favorite shows. Yes, both of those things are also true for me. Clue is one of my favorite board games. I own four different versions of it. And Clue the movie, anytime I get, like, upset, like, ups, like sad, I watch Clue. And it automatically mm -hmm. fucking makes me feel better. So, more on that next time. Um, excited. Very oh. excited for that one. Does it do the multiple endings thing? We'll yes. talk about that. Yes, we'll talk does. about that next one. But, well, plugs. John, well, you don't have an internet presence. You're the smart just, one in this group. Just send it to... 
to Danny. Yeah. If you, if you want questions, ask me. <laughs> ask questions. Um, about him. what to pour what? <laughs> Ricky, you want to plug anything? I'm, Do you have anything to plug? I got nothing at all. This is on and my I, channel. You can comment here. <laughs> and then, oh, oh, send him, send an email if you or put in the description of a movie that you want us to talk about to look at. And oh yeah, you can either put it in the comment, oh, man, you can send an email. You're ready, John. The yeah. only rule. You even did the go to the description before we even talk about. Yeah. But I kidding. see enough of these movies to know with the formula, and it's interesting and cool to be in the in the seat of doing this. And so yeah. I want to see all those. It's a call to action. I don't do yeah. them. I like this. So yeah, this is yeah. Good. I I'd be down for some interesting movies. We have the next three movies in order, but after that, yeah. after we'll that see. we're pretty yeah. much open. So we'll see you next Wait, week. You got three yeah. movies. Yep.